Music is all I think about. From the moment I wake up in the morning to the moment I fall asleep at night. I was born to play. It's my reason for living. Hey everyone, thanks for joining me. I'm so excited to talk about this film. It is so relevant this year. It's something that we need, I believe, because as you know, this year has been incredibly difficult for us all because of various reasons that we can list. Um, but I wanted to ask you first, uh, all of you, what advice do you have for people who are stuck creatively? Hmm. Go back and remember those times when you were unstuck, you know, what supported you, what encouraged you, what sparked you. You're just stuck. It's not like it's disappeared, but don't be too hard on yourself. Sometimes you have to sit and wait for the muse to show up. <laughs> the creativity is there, waiting to burst forth. Truth be told, I think we live in creativity. We really do. All you have to do is look about you. Look at stars, look at a sunrise, look at a sunset. So maybe you just need to be still for a minute. It's, it's okay to wait, you know? Um, it's also okay to know, to not be afraid that what you're gonna make is bad. Maybe get the bad draft out so you can throw it away and move past it. Not be afraid to make mistakes. You actually have to put your creative on a conveyor belt. Don't think of it as like, I gotta create something special. Most of the people that, that are successful in our business are people that can, can complete the task. You will see a lot of talented people with great big ideas, but don't know how to actually mechanically compete the task. So switch. If you're super, super, super creative, make sure you get either you or someone can help you mechanically get through those things. So when you're not creative, at least your engine is still churning. This film is everything. And this film was conceived a decade plus before 2020. Creativity has been the saving grace for most people in 2020. You have to be doing your creative endeavors first and foremost for yourself. Because there's no guarantee that anyone else is going to be into what you're doing, but you have to be willing to continue pursuing it anyway. Because that's the key, it's perseverance. My career didn't get started until many years after I should have given up on trying, according to the people around me. But I just enjoy telling good stories, so I didn't stop. I think collaborate, bring people in, and don't be too precious. Don't wait till you think it's ready for, for the world. Get people's thoughts early on. I think the other thing, like for me, when I'm stuck, is I start making lists. Just force yourself to put, here's the first dumb idea, here's the second, wait a minute, by the 15th, you're like, wait, that's not so dumb. Maybe that could actually work, okay. So just getting going really, really helps you get unstuck. On the creative side too, I think it's important for black creatives to know it's an opportunity that's out there for them. This was my first animated feature. And I mean, I took to it like a fish to water. I always admired Pixar from afar as storytellers, but I had no idea how does one even end up working at a Pixar. So I've, I've spoken to other black writers and, and had to explain to them how animation is an industry where there's more ways to get involved in it than just as an artist who draws. There's all different kinds of ways, editors, writers. There's all these different things that I think a lot of black craft people are more than capable of doing now. They just need to know about all the doors that are available to walk through. Mm. It's not a lack of talent. I just think sometimes the talent doesn't realize the opportunity is there. I love that. I'm going to take that in. Well, thanks everyone so much. Uh, this was Pixar. I'm a fan, a fan of Pixar, and it was just like Pixar. It made me cry. So hey, <laughs> thanks so thank much. You.